What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, I have some things I'm going to share with you guys. We are going to kick it off with a little update upon the Jamaican man where and alive him woman and him tenant seeing you go hear why him do it you know what i mean and um yeah we could just get in it jamaican accused in new york triple m u r d e r blame stress pressure for his action seeing him also elaborate so we're going to hear more the queen's landlord charged with multiple M-U-R-D-E-R -E of his girlfriend and two tenants on Tuesday said that he just snapped under stress and a lot of pressure, police said Thursday. In a statement to Queen's police, Daniel 54, who is said to have Jamaican roots, was arraigned on Wednesday and three counts of first degree and second degree M-U-R-D-E-R -E as well as criminal possession of a weapon. The three victims have been identified as Yvette, 55 year old, Thomas Wayne, 57 year old, and Caesar Fields, his girlfriend. Police investigation theorized that the three were KILL as a result of a long running dispute over non payment of rent, which the girlfriend was supposed to be paying as well. So, I don't know how his girlfriend fear pay rent. Unless them not really there. How can you? make your girlfriend pay rent no man that's not right although you know i mean america that still daniel told police he snapped after allegedly being mocked by his girlfriend over his inability to do anything about the rent which the other two tenants had reportedly not paid since the onset of the covid pandemic in 2020 so you hear how long them not pay the rent people and i guess they are americans you know you see me because if a yard if a yard them did come from he would have find some way to get them to pay them rent you know what i mean you see in america you see this renting your people them say like winter me don't know if it's true like in a winter you can't kick out a tenant you know what i mean and some of them have some look weird some look loophole them can go through not to pay your rent seen in the pandemic a lot of people never did a pay in a rent you see me i say because no work never did a go on too much and them something there but the pandemic over how much about year and had now you see me i say are a year now and them still not paying a rent seen so it look like say them have some kind of um legal way not to pay him rent seen so him just grew frustrated and just snap and dash with the three of them the New York Daily News quoted prosecutors as saying during Daniel's arraignment that they would be seeking life imprisonment without parole. But the paper quoted Daria Amand, an attorney for Daniel, as saying that she wants him to undergo a psychiatric evaluation. It may be an extreme emotional distress issue or another psychiatric issue where it's best for doctor to evaluate. The paper quoted the attorney as saying, Melinda Katz, the Queen's district attorney, is reported in a statement as saying that the bloody crime scene was the result of extraordinary brutality. In the meantime, Daniel is scheduled to return to court today. The triple homicide has continued to reverberate around the St. Albans community which is home to a large number of jamaican and other caribbean nationals so boy you have to learn to control your temper yeah man and don't make one silly move or decision just mess up your entire life you see me i say come and know say him regret what him do you see me so just leave your comments in the comment section people and more ask on a question on a feel like say them for put back Alice at the crab circle because me see a little interview with Alice do and Alice say as crab circle what more back she a go back but the mayor of Kingston put out a statement and said nothing like that 
No Alice to Crab Circle when it opened up back. You understand? Them should have even. Remember, them said them did have to bring charges against Alice, you know. And them no bother. So Alice should have stayed far from Crab Circle as possible. Even Nadine Missy in our interview, a kind of big for Alice. A kind of different area, you know what I mean? Say, them for later back there. But Alice, no, sir, nobody now go really buy from her. And with she being there, a lot of people now go really want, you know what I mean? Go back there. So, although I doubt people are going to really go back there, so go buy. You see me? I say, because them just are going to remember about that. All when the food clean and all right, a lot of people now go go back. You see me? I know say them are going to buy from Nadine if them go. Because them are going to say Nadine are the clean one out there because everybody else, most of them out there did a different Alice. But the mayor say them are going to give somebody else Alice style. You understand? But I do think say, she forget get a chance wherein she could have make one of her kids them take over for her. You understand? But it's going to come from the same home. So, you know what I mean? Alice, boy, you just make a big mistake. And, you know what I mean? You have to pay for it. You see it? So, we are going to move on, my people. Leave your comments in the comment section. Subscribe and like up the video. Elderly St. Catherine man charged for her K-I-L-L. ING his wife dies in jail. Cecile MacDonald, the senior citizen who was charged with the MURDER of his wife Yvette has died. News of his death was revealed on Thursday at the discontinuation of the case in the St. Catherine Parish Court. The 79 year old retired butcher of Azar Lane, Bagwalk St. Catherine reportedly suffered from multiple ailments and died last week while in police custody. It was alleged that about 2 a.m. on April 15, McDonald chopped his 72-year-old wife, a retired nurse, to death while they were at home. She reportedly went to use the bathroom when she was attacked by her husband. McDonald was arrested by the Bagwalk police and later charged with M-U-R-D-E-R and assault at common law. Boy, I mean, I know people. Why drive this man to do that to him wife? You see me, I say, and him so whole virgin. You know what I mean? Judge whatever him and him wife did I go to, him could have make that slide, man, as a whole man. You see me? Judge. So, people, we are going to move on. And, you know what I mean? R.I.P. to the wife. You see it. Condolence to the family. Although from April it happened. You see it. So we are going to move on people. A taxi driver. Drop out. You know what I mean? Him get can up. And drop out. In a girl chest. I may have a little video clip. I may have put it. On the video. You know what I mean? At the end of this. I may also. You know what I mean? Have a, have a picture. I may have put it up on the thumbnail. I'm going to put it somewhere so. See? Police are probing the shooting death of a taxi driver whose body was found slumped in a vehicle at Knockpatrick in Manchester on Friday morning. Relatives identified the deceased as Cleon Hines, 52, otherwise called Billy. Preliminary reports are that in the wee hours, par passers-by saw the vehicle park on the main road and upon closer observation saw the man's body inside the police were alerted and the scene carried on off in the vicinity of tower street this result in traffic being diverted through newport and other routes the taxi driver mother said she became worried when he didn't return home last night he didn't come in last night i called his phone two times and i didn't get him everybody kept calling and they were not getting him she said so people, me I go put the clip right here so. So bless up on yourself, me people, and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel, people. And after you subscribe, click the top bell icon so you can get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. You know what I mean? And leave a like on the video also. And people, wanna be careful out there because you know what I mean. The rain is up on us, 
and a whole heap of flooding in the streets. You see me? So, only be careful upon the road. If you now have to go up, go up on the road, do not go. You know what I mean? Stay in until the water subside and the flooding stop. So, bless up on yourself again and thanks for watching. Very sharp. Look like Billy. The car look like him, he don't know. And then he called me and asked me, and I said, No, I don't see him coming last night. But I called his phone two times, two different phones, and I did not get him. And everybody keep calling and they're not getting him. Until somebody called and asked, Tell us the license plate number. And his girlfriend will call and ask her the license plate number and she said um, it was the same thing so we just traveled and come and when you came what did you see just the police here tell me that we can't go over there and he asked me who is we to him and i said my son and she said brother and the other brother so he's on the, the other brother alone going over there so what you they said it looked like it's robbery. So I don't know. Because in every drive alone when he come in that hours because every night twelve o'clock he um reach home. Mommy, you say about any injuries? 